Hello, Madison West Rocketry, and welcome to your fourth SolidWorks tutorial. Today we're going to be learning about assemblies, and what I want you guys to do before you even get started is I want you to look at the open rocket of either your My First Rocket project or just a random Tark rocket that you're building, and um, replicate the fins and the body tube on SolidWorks because those are two of the things that we're going to be using for the assembly. If you guys don't want to do that, just watch the assembly so that you guys can see how assembly in SolidWorks works and um, we're going to end up putting all these parts together and make a rocket. And assembling parts is a really good idea when you are building something on a 3D printer because it takes forever to print it out and if it's not the right size it's pretty unfortunate so using an assembly you can actually check some of those dimensions by seeing if it fits with other parts in your model and um, you're able to um, make sure that everything's good so we're gonna start out by opening a new document and instead of part we're gonna say assembly and hit OK and we're going to start out by inserting our fin mount. Um, on our fin mount, we are then going to want to um, put in a mate. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to put four fins in each one of these slots to simulate what the fins would look like. And then we're going to put the body tube on, and then we're going to put the nose cone on. Now, obviously, this rocket's going to be um, missing some parts but it's gonna really do a good job of verifying that everything's the right size and it's also going to give you kind of a good look as to what your rockets actually gonna look like so I've already pre-made fins and body tube so what I'm really doing in this tutorial is just showing you guys how to do the mating which is how you put parts together and really how the assembly works so if you look at the top uh, bar um, there's a lot of different stuff from your regular part menus and assembly is really optimized for putting things together and making sure they work so that's what all of these tools are for so I've already inserted my fin mount and I'm gonna go up to insert components and click my fin and insert my fin and I'm gonna hit mate and I'm gonna mate this side of my fin with um, this inner side in my fin mount. And I'm going to make it zero. So this is making it zero inches from that plane. Those planes are directly on top of each other. And then hit the check mark. And now I am going to want to select and it stays in the mate tool which is really nice because when you're doing mates you want to do a lot at the same time. I'm going to click my bottom edge um, and click the floor of that um, slot and I'm going to make that as well zero. Hit the check mark now the fin is positioned to slide in and out of the fin slot but it's not directly in the fin slot so what we're going to do is we are going to mate one of these back edges with one of these back edges okay well that would over define our assembly sometimes um, assembly can be really weird so you guys will just have to play around with it let's see if this bottom edge works Um, let's see if this edge works. This edge will work, actually. Make that, and that. Huh, I guess not. Well, you know what we'll do, you guys? We will, um... Let's try one last thing, and then we, we'll just slide the fin in. Um... Like I said, assembly can be kind of frustrating sometimes, 
but you just kind of got to work through it. Okay, finally got it. Okay, now that we have one of our fins in our um, fin mount, we do not want to do that for all four of them because it would just be a headache. So we want to go over to um, this where it says linear component pattern and we want to click the drop down menu and do circular component pattern. And this is exactly like the sketch patterns and feature patterns that we've done before. We're going to click parameters and we're going to have it go around this bottom circle. And instead of 15 degrees, let's do 90 degrees because our fins are at 90 degree angles. If you have a three fin rocket, do 120 degrees and we'll make four of them and hit the check mark. Good. Now what we're going to do is we are going to add our body tube. Now the body tube that I've created doesn't have any fin slots, but the goal of this exercise is purely just to make sure that all of our parts are fitting right. So like there are going to be variations between this and your actual rocket. Like for instance in here we are going to only have one of these bases, but in your actual rocket there would be a second fin holder at the top, um, making sure the fins are staying up there too. So we're going to insert a component, um, click body tube. If you don't have your parts open in SolidWorks, you can just hit browse and from the documents you can find your parts. Um, click body tube down and I am going to mate the bottom edge of my body tube with the bottom edge of this and I'm gonna make that distance how about we do this way this will um, make it pretty easy to show you guys how to slide the body tube in and out so I'm gonna do um, the inner face of this with the outer face of this. And hit the check mark. And now you can see my body tube slides right over, which is pretty nice. And it fits perfectly, which is awesome. And I'm going to do one more quick mate. Um, just to make the bottom edge of this body tube with the bottom edge of this. How about not? How about we just mate the two faces? So we'll mate. And like I said, guys, SolidWorks assembly, it's, uh, it can be kind of a drag because it won't let you mate things, but, um, unless you're paying really close attention to a lot of geometric principles um, you just won't know what's wrong and so it'll be a lot of trial and error but it'll work out um, and then hit the check mark and the last thing I'm gonna do for this rocket is I'm gonna put a nose cone on it so I'm gonna hit the X here insert another component go to elliptical nose cone put the elliptical nose cone in hit mate I'm going to make this outer edge with the outer edge here. Great. And now we have our full rocket. And so that's how you do assemblies in SolidWorks. It's um, pretty straightforward. It's just a lot of trial and error, honestly. Um, what you guys should do is you should try to build one of the rockets you built in Open Rocket on SolidWorks. And um, We'll actually use this again in another tutorial. Um, I'll show you guys how to do flow dynamics, which is pretty cool. Okay. Thanks.